Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is your boy James from What's Your Forte, and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about my Beamer Invasion experience, man. So, Beamer Invasion 2023. It was a great event. If you missed it, <laughs> you definitely got to catch the next one, man. It was, the event was crazy. There was a lot of nice cars, a lot of nice builds, and you got to meet a lot of nice people. You maybe may got to meet a lot of content creators that were out there, man, that you guys may follow on different social medias um, and just get to meet the people behind the builds. Because a lot of times, you know, you we know people by Instagram handles. Well, at least I do. Like, I know I know there's a lot of people that hey, came up to me and talked to me, and I knew them by the Instagram handle, but I didn't know who they were. They was like, what's your Instagram handle? Oh, okay, yeah, I know who you are. So, you know, um, it's very nice to meet the people behind the builds, man. So that's one of the good things about going to the, the car shows and um, any car show, really. You get to meet the people behind the builds. So before I continue, I want to take time out to thank everyone that helped get Gumby ready for the show. You know, that's going to be Pristine Raps, uh, who wrapped the car. That's going to be 22 Tuning, who's one of my sponsors that I work with on some of the carbon stuff. Souvenir, who sent me the hood and the front lip. Another one of my sponsors, Keys Motorsports. Um, Euro Empire um, and Turner Motorsports, Armor Speed, you know, and the list goes on, man. So I just want to thank anyone that had played a part in getting my car together, man. So Thursday, roll down with the Euro Empire crew, leaving out of pretty much Monroe, Indian Land, North Carolina, which is right outside of Charlotte. Uh, met up, we rolled down with like, it had to be probably about 20 of us total. So it was a large group leaving out of Charlotte, the Charlotte area, to head down. We made two stops. One was at a um, gas station we actually stopped at last year. And then we made another stop at, like, Bucky's, which is, like, a real big in the south. It's a really big, extravagant. It's like the Walmart of gas stations. It's like a gas station on steroids. <laughs> um, so those are um, two good stops that we made. Got to um, meet up with uh, the NRP team out of Raleigh. They were actually at Bucky's as well. Um, got to see some people. Got to meet. Uh, got to see Shumal. Got to see Jacob and some other um, people that I know out of the NRP group. So the actual drive down was was great. You know, um, we didn't really run into any major issues. We maybe we had to stop do an additional stop because uh, someone had like a belly plan that got loose. Um, but other than that, we didn't have any major hiccups that like we had the year before. Um, so I uh, do appreciate that. And um, the ride down wasn't that bad at all. So um, I actually stayed with the Euro Empire crew. We rented a house. The house was dope. Um, if you've ever been to the Orlando area and try to get an Airbnb, they have a lot of these housing communities um, that I guess Disney had a, a hand in creating all these housing communities that you can just, it's like big houses with like six, seven bedrooms that a lot of families rent out when they go down there to visit. Because Orlando has a lot of attractions. Um, so a lot of families do travel down there. So I ended up staying in the house with them. I had a very good time with the whole crew. Um, you know, had a lot of good time just hanging out with those guys. So then we had a, a Friday, uh, which was like kind of like the prep day. Um, so you had prep day as far as getting your cars ready. So I had my car detailed. My homie Mellow, Yellow, Mellow Yellow hooked me up uh, with them, told me to get my car detailed by them. So that's who I went with. Um, and... Uh, Definitely, uh, they definitely did a good job on my car. Got it cleaned up, washed up, ready for the show. After getting detailed over there, was able to bring the car inside um, and start prepping with the Euro Empire crew to get everything together. Um, and then after we prepped, got every, all the cars staged for the next day. Then for me, it was just waking up Saturday morning, getting there on time, and getting ready to meet all you guys that I was able to meet down there at the show. So, um, Everything I will say from that point on was just me running around, meeting people, taking pictures, grabbing as much footage as I can. And, um, you know, this isn't going to be like a traditional vlog style. There was a lot of music being played. It was very loud. I'm not even going to lie. Your boy was tired. <laughs> um, and uh, I just didn't do a whole lot of talking during videoing. So that's why I kind of want to do this talking part in the beginning. And the rest of it is going to be more of like a cinematic type video. Uh, so you can see all the cars there. So, you know, meeting a lot of you guys um, at Beamer Invasion was, was great. You know, I was able to actually meet with um, Diego um, out of from Valson and get to see his G80 
and it meant a lot that he was able to say that uh, he watched a lot of he watched a lot of my videos and it helped him out. I mean, a lot of you guys that says that you know you watch my videos and it helps you out. That's what it's all about, man. It's the reason why I do the videos. Um, I'm not a huge YouTuber. You know, I don't get paid a whole lot from YouTube. I don't, you know, I'm not, this isn't my career. You know, this is something that I'm doing in my spare time. And I really appreciate, you know, everyone that has, you know, came up to me and said, thank you for doing what you do. And we really appreciate it. Um, the DIY or you helped me install this or you helped me choose this. You know, that really means a lot. And that's the reason why I do it, man, to help people out. You know, I'm, I'm a firm believer in you, you get what you give out in this world. I like to give out, I like to help people, so you know what I mean? So I really do appreciate it. Let's get into my top three favorite builds of Invasion. Then we're going to get into all the video, all right? So my top three favorite builds of Invasion, I probably would say not in any particular order. Um, the first one would be, it was a wide body E30. Man, this thing was clean. You could tell the owner, whoever built the car, really did everything in full detail they really did a very very good job on building the car man the car was immaculate the wide body kit was done perfectly the wheels everything the inside the interior everything looked perfect on the car definitely one of my favorite builds at the show um my second probably say another, another favorite build that i liked at the show was probably um silver beamers um e92 335 i've always loved that car um, seeing it on Instagram and then actually seeing it in person, yo, you did a very good job. I actually think he ended up winning best in show, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, he, he basically redid the whole car. I mean, everything was painted, everything was redone. It was carbon everywhere. I mean, everything was done and redone to a T, and it was done perfectly. So that car was very nice to finally see it in person from seeing it online for so many years. Um, I'll probably say the other car that really kind of just stopped me in my tracks it was a, uh, I think it was a 135 or a 140 hatchback. So the reason why this car stopped me in my tracks, one, we don't get those here in the United States. So this car was imported and it had Georgia tags on it. So for anyone that may know the owner, you know, let me know who it is. I would love to do a review on that car. I would love to drive down, do wherever they at, do a review on that car and then get the story on how they actually got it over here in the United States. So if you know who it is, Please let me know. I, um, that car was just crazy to see because, one, we don't get it here in the United States. I think things that we don't get in the United States, things that are rare to us, grab my attention more. Um, um, and I've always liked that car. I always thought that car, you think about it, you can get an all-wheel drive B58 hatchback. I mean, that just sounds crazy, right? I mean, they came in two-door and four-door. A two-door B58 um, X-Drive hatchback, I mean, that would be a monster if we were able to get that over here. It would... People, people probably will buy those over the 3 Series. I mean, because, I don't know, I like hatchbacks. I, I, was a, I have a former GTI owner, so I like hatchbacks. So if I could get, like, a BMW hatchback that was, like, a monster like that, that would be crazy. But I digress. But um, So seeing that car, one, was like, yo, why is this over here? How they get this over here? Like, it was just kind of a showstopper to me. And then they put an M2 conversion um, kit on the front so it was kind of like you was looking at like what is this what kind of car is this um why is it like an m2 competition on the front and then the rear is like a, a one series hatchback so it was just crazy to see i think it ended up winning an award as well um so i mean there you have it you know so i think those are my three favorite cars that i actually saw on the show um no disrespect to anyone else there was a lot of dope cars out there you know what i mean tons of dope cars those are the three ones that to me were like man like look at this like this is crazy so yeah so i just want to give you all some talking portions of this video the rest of the video is going to be straight cinematics i'm going to be showcasing a lot of the cars um and uh pretty much just going to end it like that man so anyone that came up to talk to me i really do appreciate it uh if you didn't get a chance to see me i'm sorry i was all over the place um but hopefully you got to see the car hopefully you got to see gumby in person and uh, hopefully you enjoyed the build man so the build isn't going to stop here um, a lot of the content from here on out, I, I started with a lot of aesthetics and a lot of cosmetics. A lot of stuff from here on out is going to be, um, I do plan to hit some racing events here, um, some drag events, road racing events here soon. So we're really going to be testing the car out and seeing what this thing can do. So um, if you guys are looking forward to that content, I'm going to be bringing it to you. All right. So hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Shout out, special shout out again goes to Euro Empire. 
and for everything you do, all my other sponsors for everything you do, and then also the Beamer Invasion team for holding such a great event. So let's go ahead and get to the rest of the video, and I'll holler at you guys later. Peace.